And let's uncommon fossil. And with the coming of temporal forces, a lot of changes happened, right? Rotation, eight new starter decks, uh, the, the battle pass with new decks there. But one of the biggest changes, and it's in a change that I expected to come, but is much bigger in magnitude than expected, is the adjustments to the ranked ladder. Um, Pokemon had let us know back in a letter on February 20th that something was coming. I'm not going to read all of it. You can pause the video and read it there. Read it if you want. But Pokemon noticed through studying analytics plus uh, co player comments that people were, were ge getting generally to Great League and getting stuck there, which uh, the way the points worked out, that makes sense. That was the case. People were getting frustrated. So they said as a base, because of that, they were going to change the, the uh, rank ladder system in, in a future release, which is the Temporal Forces release, as we now know. And it, it you know, the goal was to make that, to ensure that progress aligns more closely with the expectations and, expect, and investment of players' time and effort. So to make it more balanced, more fair, and more enjoyable to players. And they say here it's going to be a continuous iterative process with, and they're committed to its continued evolution. So it's not necessarily going to stay like this. Expect some change in the future. And I will say, uh, this is extremely generous, the changes. I think it's possible that f a future change may actually tighten up the system a little bit, make it a little harder to get to Arceus League. So now's a really good time in the next few months to grind towards Arceus League, if that is a goal for you. But let's dive into the specifics. The first part, two parts to it. One is what are the points needed to get to the, each of the leagues? And then how what how did they make adjustments to the points gained, right? So first, the points needed. This was easy to tell. Um, I could just take a look at the uh, rank ladder to get this the other day. So quick league, for example, the points up starts at zero. You needed to get to progress to 200 points to move on to Poke League. Now you just need to move on, get to 40 points to move to Poke League, right? Each I give the points range in the center column for the old system. The points range for the new system. So Great League, to which is where I tended to get stuck before, and, and and as Pokemon said, most players did, you need to get 600 points to reach it. Now you just need 160 points, so that makes it much more easy. And then to advance beyond Great League before you need to get to 1,320, now you just need to get to 520 points to move on to Ultra League. So again, just making progress much more accessible. If one's getting all the way to Arceus League before you need 2,660 2, points, now you need 1,620 points to get there. So reduce the threshold of points across the board, making it much more accessible. The other part of the equation, which wasn't apparent initially, is how many points do you get for a win versus how many points do you lose for a loss? And the changes there are also very substantial. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to Trust Your Pilot. Uh, you definitely want to check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he talks about decks, but he also gives information on Pokemon TCG Live and the economy as well. And he's been doing it since uh, the beginning of the beta being released. And he's played live the entire time. So he suffered through the days of live being unplayable as well. So, so hats off to him. He uh, tweeted out on X what the points are for a win, what the points you lose for a loss are. So thanks to that. If, if I, I, I'm in Great League now, so I can verify that that is correct. I don't know if I can't verify myself the other numbers. If you see something that doesn't seem correct, please let me know in the comments below. I want to know, and everyone else I'm sure wants to know as well. So changes here are really significant and opens up grinding to Arceus League a you know, really significantly. So quickly, heck, that didn't change at all. It's 10 for a win, no points for a loss. It's still 10 for a win, no points for a loss. But the number of points to get out of it's, again, reduced significantly from 200 points now to 40 points. So you'll get through it much quicker. We'll take a look at that on the next slide. Uh, Pokey League um, actually got slightly less generous with its points, but um, it was 20 for a win before, ten, lost 10 for a loss. Now it's 15 for a win, you'll lose five for a loss. Um, so the differential between win and loss has stayed the same at 10 points, but you get less points for the win. But when you factor in the, the reduction in the points needed to move on to Great League, uh, you still will progress through Poke League much quicker than before. It's once you get to Great League and beyond that the changes are really radical here. Before, once you got to Great League, it was 20 points for a win and t you lose 20 points for a loss. Now you always get 10 more points for a win than you lose for a loss. I, I, well, 
uh, everything from Quick League to Master League. So at Great League, you get 20 for a win, you lose 10 for a loss. Ultra League, 25 for a win, lose 15 for a loss. Masters, Master League, 30 for a win, lose 20 for a loss. Arceus League is 10 for a win, 10 for a loss. But again, we're not worried about that. We're worried about getting to Arceus League. So before the uh, net of wins and losses was was zero, they add, they canceled each, other, canceled each other at now. You know, you always, as long as you win about as much as you lose, you're going to make progress. Uh, the last column here is win streak. Um, you do get a bonus for win streak. Not exactly sure on the implementation of it. Uh, Quick League and Arceus League, it's 10 points for a win streak. Uh, Pokey League through Masters, where you're going to be most of the time, 20 points for a win streak. They had that in PTCGO. I don't believe Live had any rewards for win streaks before, so they've kind of reintroduced that this into Live now for the first time. So glad to see that. If you know the details of how many wins to get the win streak bonus, you know, let me know in the comments below. That's something I'm, I'm going to try to pay attention to as well in my games to try to see how that works. It's just a matter of paying attention to the rewards screen at the end of the games, I think. So anyway, so the big news is you always get 10 more points for a win than a loss as long as you're below Arceus League, which is a big change from before where it was generally 20 for a win, 20 for a loss. So what does this make? What, so we put these two things together less points to reach to reach a league and more more points for a win than a loss now what does this impact us in terms of accessibility reaching the high the different leagues so this is a slide looking at the minimum number of wins required to reach any league now how how minimum number of wins how did I, I calculate this pretty simple i just assumed i win every game right um you know i win every game you win every game not a problem well, okay I, obviously we don't win every game but it's a simple way to compare progress right it gives a relative change is what i'll say obviously it's going to take more games than this so quickly you used to need and quickly you don't lose points for losses so um minimum number of wins doesn't matter. Losses don't hurt you. But you used to need to, to win 20 games to get out of quick league. Now you just need four wins to get out of quick league. And I think that's good because new players come in. They shouldn't have to grind through 20 wins before they get out of quick league, right? A new player is going to sit there stuck in quick league for a while while they're learning, learning the game. It is demoralizing. Make them feel, help them feel good. Move some early progress uh, is a good thing. Um, Pokey League, it used to take 20 wins. This, again, assuming you don't lose any games because you do lose points once you get there. Now it only takes eight eight wins. So 20 wins versus eight wins now. That's that's a big a big change. And then Great League before took 36 wins to get out of it. That was once you're in Great League to move on to Ultra League. That was the most wins for any of the leagues. And that certainly wasn't right also. You don't want the middle league to be the one that takes the most wins to, to advance out of. Right now you just need 18 wins. Ultra League was 35 wins. Now it's 20. Master League 32 now it is 20. So the total number of wins, assuming you start with zero points and don't lose a game before you needed to win 143 games and boom, you are in Arceus League. Now, brand new account, don't lose a game, 70 wins. So instead of 143, so less than half the number of, game, of wins needed to move up to Arceus League. And that's a big change. Um, it's, now, one of the questions this uh, opens up to me is, how accessible is it to grind my way to Arceus League? And that's what this chart here is looking at. Um, this I call it 50% win rate. So I'm assuming here I win 50% 50, 50 of my games. That means on average, I'm getting five points per game because the differential is always 10 more for a win than a loss. So on average, I'm getting five points per game. That means to get out to, to advance out of quick league, it, it needs eight games at a 50% win rate. I, at a pokey league, needs 24 games, 72 games to move through great league, 100 games to move through ultra league, and 120 games to move through master league. So I need to spend, I need to play 324 games at a 50% win rate, and this assumes I don't get any win streak bonuses, which you would get, right? Because because your your 15 year wins will come in clump some, and you will get some bonuses too. But 324 wins from zero points to get to Arceus League. Now that's a lot of games, so right, it's a it's 11 games a day. Um, so the, you know most people, that's certainly not going to be obtainable. We don't necessarily have the time, and not necessarily going to enjoy it either. But for some people that, that do like grinding. Arceus League is right there. You can grind to Arceus League through 50% win rate 
through putting in a couple hours a day. And also the other thing is I've, I've assumed here I started at zero points, but don't forget um, when the battle pass resets, you move down a league. I think that's going to stay the same. So in which case, so you keep some of your progress. So you, you never have to move up all the way. So if you want to get to Arceus League within, say, the next couple battle pass resets, um, I mean, not battle pass resets, but rank ladder resets, what you want to do is, like, I started off in Great League. I want to get up then to Master League. Because then when it resets, I'll move down to Ultra League, right? You, you always, you don't want to, you know, you start out in Great League, you move to Ultra League, it resets, you're back at Great League, you made no progress. You move up two leagues each time, and you will get there within a couple of months. So, look, right now, Arceus League is way more accessible than it's been in the past. I'm not sure that, that, that Pokemon is not going to tighten things up a little bit. Particularly, like Master League, I think that I, I think they, they could make that tougher, I will say. Um, they, they could, rather than getting 10 more for a win than a loss, they could make it 5 more. They could even, I think, reasonably make it a break-even thing with the same number of points for a win as for a loss. And just, you know, some people will get to Arceus League, but just make that more exclusive. But right now, Arceus League is very accessible. If, if it's something that's on your radar at all as, as, as a wish list of something that you want to do and say, hey, I did it at least once, um, definitely now's the time to do it. And don't forget, you do get more rewards for um, Great League as for, um, sorry, for Arceus League. As, as you move up the leagues, you do get more in-game rewards. So it is, as a, just a, as a budget player, it is valuable for, in that regard too. So they've really made huge changes and uh, certainly encourage you to take advantage of it. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this, if you have goals like, are you going to really tar target Arceus League right now? Or do you just not care? You just want to have some fun playing the game and rank doesn't matter. But anyway, have some fun playing Pokemon and take care.